Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World and I'm Jeanette. I'm here to do makeup, do makeup try-ons, talk about beauty and unbox subscription boxes, mystery boxes, things like that. Mostly unboxing. But today is a get ready with me. This is the video I promised you after I unboxed my second BoxyCharm Premium with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina uh, Takeover Box. And I promised you a video with using all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills products, which this is what this is. And just about everything on my face today is Anastasia Beverly Hills. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to use the Novena Volume 1 palette today for my eyes. And um, these are the colors. All right. So I'm, I'm not going to do a bold look today only because I did swatch all of these the other day. I posted it on my Instagram if you want to go and look and see. And I, my arm, I post, I did it on the back side of my arm. My arm did have reaction to uh, several of these really deep colors um, on this A-line, these really deep purples and over here. And another uh, viewer told me to be careful because this one stained her eyes. So it's like these dark, really dark purples. And I know I've had react. I don't think I did to like this one, but I have in other palettes to that type of color. So I've been um, swatching my hand with the colors I know I didn't have a reaction to, trying to figure out the look I'm going to do for you guys. Because um, I, I do want to have a standout look, but you know, I don't want to have sore goopy eyes for the next two days either so <laughs> so we have to be careful because these are you know those full press pigments and they do have eye warnings on a lot of these shadows so i'm going to let's see all right hang on i'm going to zoom you in and we'll get started on the eyes on this one end which I'm going to use and where are we the liner part all right which is kind of a triangular well not really it's a little bit triangular shape 
Okay. And then I'm going to use this, um, I believe it's in chocolate, the uh, tinted brow gel. It's upside down. So I'm going to use the tinted brow gel to hold things in place. Okay. So first I'm going to take my spoolie and kind of brush my eyebrows up. I don't do a whole lot with my brows because I've never had issues. You know, I've got enough brows. I've had to have them plucked. I've been plucking them myself, you know, recently. I've gotten a little better at that than going and getting them waxed. Getting them waxed is just, oh. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's see. So, I'm just going to use this just to fill in a little bit and kind of um, shape them mostly around this bottom edge. I think I gotta need this up a little more. Yeah. All right. I think I do need to pluck them again though. But not right now. <laughs> so I just get them filled in a little bit. This magnifying mirror. I don't know. I think I need a different mirror. That's hard. That's hard to do with the magnification. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'll get my other mirror that has a regular size. So that's like a 10 times magnification one I have stuck on my regular vanity mirror. <sighs> okay. So here's going to blind you all. All right. That's better. I just need regular magnification here. So let's just fill these in a little bit. Just so it comes to a little bit of a point there. You don't have to have them matching totally. They're sisters. They're not they're not twins or anything. They're just sisters that have to be semi-alike, but not perfectly alike. Alright. Alright. So that's good. Now I'm going to take my spoolie again. Just kind of brush them, brush it through. All right, and then I'm going to take the brow gel. I've been using a lot of clears, but since I have this tinted one, that's what we're going to use. And we just kind of brush our hairs up so they get that nice fluffy look and help set them in place. And keep it staying in place throughout the day. All right. Yeah, I just need a little bit. Like I said, I haven't had any issues with my brows. I have enough brows. I don't have too much brows. Sometimes it like grows down too far, and it has to. Like I said, I have to clean up underneath there just a little bit. But there, the brows are done. Back in the brows are done. Back in the brows are done. So now I'm going to take a little um, mascara. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills new mascara. I have not tried yet. It's in black. All right. That's our wand. It's a nice fat wand there. All right. And I did curl my lashes already, and I, I've started combing them out. And it seems to have helped some when I'm applying my mascara. The, the mascara doesn't have to work as hard to separate my lashes when I comb them out first. And this, this eye, I had this one lash that was just like bent over and would not straighten up. And I couldn't get it straight no matter how much combing I did with my magnification mirror. And I finally just plucked that sucker. <laughs> it's like, you need to just go. <laughs> so, yeah. 
All right, it's a wet formula. It's a little bit um, thick. I've seen some people, you know, some people like this, some don't. You know, it just depends on your preferences, but it seems to be volumizing my lashes pretty good. And I am going to be putting falsies on, so I'm not going to do a lot here. This is mainly so that my eyelashes mesh with the false eyelashes. Here, let me just... Make sure I'm separating. That's not bad. That's not bad for one coat. Okay. Get those falsies on and then it'll be good. All right. I'm going to do a little on the bottom. This is where I have the most trouble. Because I seem to have, right in the center part, I seem to have pretty good lashes. But then when I get to the sides, they're so tiny and invisible. It's very hard. I have to be so careful putting the mascara on. Because um, I end up with mascara on my lower lid and everything. And I have to clean that up. And I usually just uh, wait till it dries up. And then, then I'll just get a Q-tip with some plain water and a clean up any smudged mascara that I've gotten on my skin. If you let it dry, don't try to do it right away. You know, if you smudge, don't worry about it. Um, it'll dry and then pretty much just flake right off. Like I said, I just use a clean Q-tip and I just wet it with plain water. And it usually cleans it, especially if you get some on your upper lid where you've already done your, uh, your eyeshadow look. And you can, uh, you can get it off that way after it dries. Okay. All right. So that's just a little bit. I'll probably fix it up a little more. Um, oops. So the other products we have to try, we have our highlighter, which will be after. We got some lips. Uh, we have some bronzer. And then the lashes. Um, which I'm going to, I know I wore these lashes, the lengthy ones, with the first unboxing. But then in my second box, I got the snazzy. So I'm going to use the snazzy ones today for you guys. So, but I'm going to go off camera, put my foundation on and my concealer, and put on these lashes mm -hmm. and make sure my eyes are cleaned up. And then we'll come back and finish up the face and lips. All right. All right, so got the lashes on, and I finished up the eyes. I did deepen up the outer corner a little bit with that black, um, and I got my foundation on, and I contoured a little bit. So now we're going to do some blush. I've got my, uh, I mean, not blush, my bronzer. I keep mixing them up. <laughs> it's my bronzer that I got. It's a powder bronzer in the color Rosewood. This is what it looks like. And get me a big fluffy brush here. I'm going to sweep it on right underneath my cheekbone and up my temples a little bit. I didn't get my hair up. I didn't put it up. I curled it today because it's just, I really, <laughs> I'm not liking this growing out process. But I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to keep it, keep going. <laughs> so, this is a nice bronzer. It's a buildable bronzer, so it goes on pretty light, and then you can build it up. Across the nose a little bit. All right. And I started um, my blush a little. I, I'm using my NARS, um, the Orgasm. I've got a cream of it and then a, a little powder one. So I put the cream on already. And I'm going to build it up a little bit with the powder one. So, so I don't have any uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills blushers. So we will use this. 
just give me a little peachy pinky little bit of a glow here and I work it on up the sides 80s style you know yeah I didn't want anything dramatic because the eyes are dramatic enough right <laughs> But it's got a little bit, uh, yes, it's got pinks. I like the pink blush, but it's got a little bit of peachy in there, too, to kind of blend in with the eyes. All right. Cross the nose. Just like that little bit of sun-kissed glow, because I don't get out in the sun too often, you know. So then we're going to do our highlighter. I do have the Vegas Loose Highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let me get my Sigma little brush here for highlighter. I'm going to pat it upside down, get some on the lid. Okay. That's what it looks like. Can you see it? The light is right there, huh? There we go. All right. And dip it in and tap it off. Don't want to go crazy, but you know I do like a glow, so. <laughs> Here we go with the glow. Yeah, that's glowy. Go above here. Get down my nose. Ooh. On the cupid's bow, a little on the chin. Wherever the light hits, I tend to go a little overboard with my highlighter, but I'll um, use a powder and setting spray and then press it all in so it won't be quite this glowy by the time I'm done. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do when I go back to work because I definitely cannot spend this much time. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I cannot spend this much time because I have to be to work at 7 a.m. There's no way I'll be up early enough to spend an hour doing my makeup. I just tone it down a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm taking a smaller brush here and I'm gonna sweep this under my eyebrows. Yeah, that's pretty. They had another color that came in the Prox Charm Box called Peachy Fizz. That probably would have looked good under my eyebrows too with this eye look. I'm liking this eye look, even though it's not the purpley pinky, it's still, you know, still pretty bold and a little, you know, kind of glamorous. Even though I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but that's okay. And all right. So now I'm going to do a little bit of powder. I got my Tarte Glow Shape Tape Glow Powder, which I like so much. A little more glowiness, right? That's all we need. So. Just spread a little bit, spread the love around my face, just to set things down. Yeah, I didn't get the uh, setting powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills either. It was a choice in the box, and I didn't choose it. That's okay. I've got plenty of setting powders, right? I've got plenty. All right, and then take the setting spray, the Dewy Set setting spray that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Spray that, and then I'm going to take my blending sponge that I've been using, and I just kind of press everything in. Just so it all blends together and nothing's like too in your face. <laughs> all 
right. I learned this trick from uh, just watching Just Anne. She does this, and I said, like, oh, that's a good idea because the setting spray, you know, helps keep the moisture, lock the moisture in, lock the makeup in place, and use just pressing with the sponge doesn't take the makeup off, but it just presses it into the skin to make it look as natural as possible, you know? All right. And the hair. I told you I curled it, but... <laughs> So now we're going to do lips. All right, hang on while I get my lips together. All right, so in my box, I got this uh, this lip shade. It's in the color, I forget. Let's see, malt. That's right. This comes in malt, and then I do own, a, I think I got this in an Ipsy, but it's a, a lip gloss. And I do have, if I don't like that color, I can change it out to this crush that I also got in an Ipsy. All right. So lip liner, I've got two here. I guess I'm going to try this one by St. Lux. It's in the shade, let's see, Secret Admirer. Okay. If you can see that. It's hard to see, but let's take off. All right, so I'm going to try this. I haven't used this yet. I got it in another BoxyCharm or Ipsy or something. And I haven't used it because I haven't done a lot of, like, brown type of lip shades. Although I used to years ago. I really liked them. I had a color called Toffee when I did Mary Kay. And that was, like, my favorite lipstick for a while there. It's okay. I'm having to press kind of hard to get the color to go down. But it could just be because it's new and I haven't used it yet. But... Okay. I could do this a little bit. All right. On with the malt. Remember, if you remember from the unboxing, this is a pretty deep shade and it dried down really well. There was no smudging or anything once it dried down. Gonna rub it in a little bit. Because yeah, that's a, a deep shade. It dries down pretty fast. I think I want to lighten it up just a little bit with the crush. After I smooth that a little bit there, right? I've got my micellar wipes for my fingers here. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of the crush. Put it right in the center. Let that dry down. That's a little better. I toned it down just a little bit. Use my fingers again. I 
gives it a little bit of an ombre type look. And the brown dried down fast. Dried down really fast. Okay. Now I'll make sure it's dry, then I'll put some lip gloss. Right here. I tap that in a little, a little bit there. Looks a little dark. Better. My lips look uneven. Are my lips uneven? Just the lips in general? <laughs> All right, seems to have dried down. That's pretty quick. Now I'm going to take some of this gloss because I don't like a dry feeling lip. Let's put that right on top. All right. Is it the lip liner? It's making the one side. It's making this side. No, this side darker. Yeah, the slip liner is not the greatest. I think that's a little better. All right. There we go. I think I'm done. Let me move this mirror. I had a hard time because I couldn't see my whole face here. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, look at, look at, look at. There. <laughs> Let's move this just a little bit. Not too much. Okay. That's better. Okay. Let's fix the hair. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, like I said, I used the curl line on it. But that's the final look. Do my eyelashes look okay? I always have a hard time with those corners. I think it's okay. So that's the final look. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to wear it <laughs> with me? <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. I'll snap a couple pictures for you. And um, this will be posted next week sometime, first week of August. Uh, you'll probably see some unboxings with me with this look. But this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. All the products that I got in my boxy charm, I believe I used everything. The only thing I didn't use, I forgot. I have used it this week, but um, it was the hydrating oil. Okay, but I have used it this week, and I liked it. You know, I patted it on before uh, I put my makeup on again. And, yeah, so that's it. So I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you want to see more Get Ready With Me's? Uh, let me know. If you like this video, give it a like. And subscribe consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell if you liked it so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Because uh, like I said, once I start back to work, I probably won't be able to get to do a, post a video every day, but I'm, my shoot, I'm shooting for at least every other day. And uh, it might take a week or two, forget that, because I got a bunch of plans for videos this weekend to get me started through, to, to get me through my first week of work and stuff. So Again, I love you all. All right. I will see you in the next video. Mwah. I love you. Bye.